Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's review. I am one of your hosts, Prue, and joining me is Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you? Doing all right. So we played a game this week. We did. We we, we play games every week, don't we? This week we played Windscape, developed by Magic Sandbox, and then published by Head Up Games. It was released March 27th, 2019, for the fantastic price of 1995. So... What did you think of Windscape? I thought it was a poor man's oblivion, or kind of like Zelda if it was done in like the 90s in 3D. The graphics are leave a lot to be desired, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's obviously meant to be pretty simplistic, but it, it it's really sharp polygons, so it, it, it definitely kind of invokes the feeling of like an N64 game. And not like in a good way. Yeah, not yeah. It, everything bad about it. Everything seems lifeless. Yeah, it's all blocky and, and sharp, well, it, which is kind of interesting because we play a lot. Of, you and I have both played Minecraft, and Minecraft is blocky. Well, but, yeah. But characters seem to have life. These just everything just seemed bland. It, yeah, it, it, yes, bland is the right word. I'd say it feels very much like, like. Uh, this is my first attempt at making like a game like this, like a 3D game maybe or something. Yeah, and that's actually what I, I mean, I put in our notes too, but that's kind of what I was thinking back in the, I'm going to age myself here, back in the 90s, I did um, some computer design stuff doing like animation. And it was what, in the olden days where the computers didn't have enough processing power, so you had to send it off to a supercomputer to have it do the processing. And the graphics are almost identical. Very blocky, polygony kind of lifeless <laughs> yeah yeah there's not a lot of detail in anything it's just just plain and, and like you said before kind of boring yeah um, and it's, it's like i said it's a poor man's oblivion so it's a first person sword fighting adventure role-playing game yes uh you could put uh, i just want to say one more thing about the graphics before we moved on i just wanted to oh, say that they are uh, to their credit they're very bright and colorful yes so it wasn't like you weren't going through just slabs of gray and brown like you would do sometimes. But um, yeah, but the gameplay is, you could call it Oblivion light. Um, I mean, but we're talking very light. We're talking stripped down to almost nothing. There's essentially you have a, a melee weapon, either a sword or a hammer, which behave exactly the same. Or some sort of a magic spell. And you... You just go around and smash right trigger towards the thing that's moving, essentially. Yeah, yeah turning towards you. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. The movement movement isn't very distinct. It just kind of moves. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not too big of a game. Really, there's only three islands in the whole game. And... 90% of the island is just empty space in between where you're going. Which which actually got tedious was the walking. Yeah. It's so slow. And it's extremely yeah. slow. That was not fun. No. There wasn't a lot of fun to it. I didn't have... Like, a lot of times, even when a game is boring, you can try to make some fun out of it where you... Oh, I can walk around. I can hack things. There wasn't really much excitement in that either. Yes, that's the other component to the game is there is a, a rudimentary crafting system as well. Um, you, you can chop down trees uh, and there's a few, there's only a handful of things that you can collect. Some wild mushrooms and onions and stuff like that, but they're like probably less than a dozen, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say about less than a dozen. And that's how um, you can make, that's all you have to make things with. Yeah. And that's just for like basic potions like getting your health back and stuff like that so it's really really is very very basic there's not there's no depth at all here no it's <laughs> no it's not i i'm trying to think of something positive Fresh. about it mm. i don't that's the thing and i'm i i, I, I feel I, like i'm coming down pretty harsh that it's not a bad game it just has no good things it. no there's no, no I, like redeeming there, quality to it it's just no, so it's bland just, yeah it's i can't think of anything astoundingly bad but i can't think of anything really highlighting like oh this is interesting you should try this yeah it's it's just competent enough not to be bad but it's it actually a good way has, to phrase it 
Yeah, but it has no good enough qualities to make it interesting. So it just sits in this middle gr middle ground area where it's just you're just like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna walk around for a bit today, and uh, yeah. it's not very compelling, <laughs> I'll say. I'm I'm glad the game is not as long as Oblivion or Skyrim <laughs> or any of that stuff. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, this will probably set you back about twelve hours, I'd say. I think um, that's no, a fair guess. Maybe, maybe a little less, depending. Uh, I can't remember specifically. Probably eight to eight to ten, maybe twelve. Yeah, I think TA says eight to ten, and I I think that's fair. Yeah. It's it, and there's no missable, so we can talk about the achievements now. There's, um, there's nothing really you're gonna miss. You're gonna hit everything on the way to the end. Um, so that's good, and yeah. none of none of them are particularly challenging or anything like that. So it's. Yeah, it's, basically for getting to certain destinations, yep. like you got to a cave or the mine. Here, you get an achievement. Um, you killed five enemies or whatever it was. You get an achievement. You crafted some things. Yep. You get an achievement. Yeah. Yeah. Was there sixteen achievements? I think sixteen achievements for a thousand. Yeah. So it's a, a kind of an uninspired list, but it's definitely doable. Um, I did it in just a few nights' time, uh, but uh, probably other things you might want to play first i will say that if you're looking for quick points let's say you just need a quick hit you can get about 450 points in less than an hour yeah they come they do come pretty quickly right in the beginning and then uh and then they they spread out quite a bit towards the end yeah, yeah. but yeah i don't i don't really know that there's really much else to say on this game no i um, think this is pretty pretty straightforward it's if you like first person sword fighting role playing ish games maybe it's up your alley but for the price 1995 it's pretty boring and there's not a lot of depth there yeah i mean i like oblivion and the other thing it was compared to zelda and i would be very hesitant to recommend this to anybody just because uh just go play those games yeah <laughs> um so <laughs> Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be it for Windscape. Sorry, we, this is kind of a short episode, but there's really not much to talk about. No, 